you're about to witness one of the fastest sports in the world with the ball traveling at speeds close to 200 miles per hour. Execution. Determination. Sacrifice. Fearless. Discipline. Passion. You have to be a little crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, to this doubles action here in the quarterfinals. In the front court, Nick Ripple and Adam Manila versus Felipe Camacho and Jansen Allen. Should be a terrific doubles match. Serving zero. Head referee Lalo just took out Big Canada. A bit of an upset One there. Lalo makes his first quarterfinal of the IRT tour. We got our first point Two there. Serving zero. Second point there. Felipe and Jansen serving at 2 0. Zero serving two. Oh, what a reaction there. Unfortunately, not enough on it to get to the front wall. Mia here to serve. Riffle all the way back. Sets up Felipe in the front. Jansen Allen's going to track this. Doesn't let it hit the back wall. Instead cuts it off. Riffle shoots it down the right side. Back to Allen. Allen puts it away. Half out. One serving two. Half out called. Great shot there, but from Jansen Allen. Puts it in that right corner from the back left Two side of the court. One. Fantastic shot. Two serving one. High lob. Ripple shoots it to the left. Felipe catches it. Adam back to Allen. Back to Adam. Short into the front court. It's going to give Allen another point. Three serving one. Three one. And on the other court, we've got Big Canada, Sam Murray, and number one player in the world, Alex Landa, facing off against two, two fellows I've never seen before. I don't believe they are on the IRT. But they're certainly competing against the number eight and the number one player in the world. Back to the action here. Felipe's going to track this. And Nick tries to return Felipe's attack, but he doesn't get the full racket on it and splinters it into the left side of the court. Ripley. 
Hashtag just a replay. Some fans in the audience thinking it was an avoidable. What do you guys think at home? Jansen's going to wait on that one. Leaves it a bit high. Felipe getting a bit congested in the center. Great effort to still stay with it. Adam's going to shoot it off the ceiling. Felipe's going to... Thought he was going to shoot it. Yep. And it hits that lip. Lalo's going to say replay. So there's a little crease in the very front. It's only here at Canoga. No other park has this little crease. Uh, three. The club has Nine mentioned three. several times that they're going to go forward and try and fix that problem. So hopefully that won't be an issue next year. But there is just a little crease that forces that ball to go straight down on some of those ceiling shot attempts. Great shot there by Riffle. Felipe able to track it. Shot there by Nick Riffle. Three is serving one. Forcing a half out. 3 1 here. Been stuck on 3 1 for a little while now. Fight out. One serving three. After this match, we will have another doubles quarterfinal for you. And then I believe after that, we start our quarterfinals of singles. Two we'll have Alex three. Landa versus. Manuel Portillo, Eduardo Portillo, Andre Parilla versus oh. Kane Waslinchuk, Daniel De La Rosa versus Jose Diaz, Two, seven, three. Andre Beltran versus Rocky Carson. We got some great quarterfinals coming your way. <laughs> Excellent shot there by Felipe. Two, seven, three. Two serving three on the head pin scoreboard. Blue play tracks this off the back wall. Great shot there by Riffle. Allen goes down the line and finds himself a winner. Three serving two. Gates and Allen has really had a heck of a tournament. Was just eliminated by Alvaro Beltran in his round of 16. Three, Still very two. impressive. Adam Manila. Two, three. Mania, Manila. Smart choice there by Felipe to go off the back wall. Not a lot of room there to shoot it, so he lost it from the back. Fortunately, gives up a point. Tie game here in game one of this doubles quarterfinal. Half out. Three serving three. Here on the other court, Sam and Alex Landa are taking on those two gentlemen that I am not sure who are they are. But they're up 13-5, I believe, here in game one. Timeout was just taken. Action here, Felipe skips that one in the left corner. Nothing but splinters gives Adam Four and Nick three. their first lead of the game, of the match. Not a great shot there. Gives him another Five point. Serving three. Serving five. Three five. <coughs> My total. 
Bello says shot was good. Thank you, Scott McClellan. A little friendly reminder on how to pronounce some last names. Apparently it's Portillo and Monillo, but I will not change my Andre Perilla. I will not. Five serving five. Five five, Felipe and Jansen Allen here on the tear to tie it up. No, no, no. My partner drinking a cold Spencer. black cherry soda, five it looks five. like. As soon as he quenches his thirst, I'm sure he'll join us. It's a great shot there by Jansen Allen, the right side. Riffle off the back, back to Jansen. Goes right down the line, looking for two bounce, and he gets it. 6-5. Six, 6-5, five. Six, five, Jansen and Felipe take the lead. Side out. What's Five up, Kelly six. Diesel? Dean Bear, glad to see you. I got, I got one of my buddies all the way from Long Island in the house with me, and it's his first time ever witnessing pro doubles up front, and I can't get him on the microphone to talk about it. So maybe you can help me coax six, him, six. Kelly, because yeah. it should be it should be there. Let's so see what we can bring in here. So I, I'm gonna introduce my buddy. He's one of my dearest friends back home, um, Bob Strangio. Uh, he's a big help. He helps me raise money back on Long Island for the IRT tour. So Seven, welcome, six. Bob, to cold California. I know you're here a lot. Uh, so tell me what you think, because you said before when we were talking, this is your first time witnessing pro doubles up front and close. So what are your thoughts about it? Um, it's, it's an incredible dance. It's like a ballet but with incredible speed and power. Now, one of the things you said to me before was that... Um, these guys don't give up their position. And now you know, as well as I do, back at home, you know, there's a block or there's replay. So you, you're seeing up front the differences in the game. No, they, they stay in their spot. They own their spot. Um, they get out of the way by jumping, but it's just incredible. The, the speed, the accuracy, the power, it's, it's extremely exciting. Are you going to do a little bit of this when we get it back at home? No, I'll be sitting down. <laughs> Now, will you will you be playing Monday Night League with me or what? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Eight serving six. <laughs> so, um, serving thanks six for stopping here. by, Bobby. I appreciate it. So, give me some of your thoughts now on. I know we'll, we have we're streaming one match, um, and that's Jansen Allen and Felipe Camacho versus Adam Mania and Nick Riffle. What do you think of this match so far? I mean, you're, you're, I know you're going from match to match. Um, these guys are just unbelievable. They, they don't give up their spot for the ball, which is something that I, I find amazing. And, and their, their hands and their speed to the, the balls is fantastic. Their return shots are, are planned out, and they know exactly what to do. It's, just, it's really exciting. It's, it's totally different from anything you ever see. Yeah. I think, Bob, just to chime in here, I think the greatest thing about doubles is the shots they pull off with the bodies around them. Oh, my God. I, I don't know how they do it without hurting each other. Okay. Fire of a shot there by Nick's Jansen Allen. track that ball. See, now, Jansen wants to say that Adam was kind of in his view of that ball, and that's why he wants kind of like Six a nine. replay. And I think he got it there. And that was the right call. You know, so we, we talk about blocks and getting out of the way. But one of the other things you have to do is you got to allow your opponents to see the ball. Even in singles. You know, you can't block the ball and the view. But take notice of the shots that they take. Look at that behind the back. Trying to clip that one, Felipe Camacho. Omo. So, um, 
Bobby's in town for his, a family affair, and you just, you know, you, you found out there was a tournament, so you had to swing by. It's, a absolutely. We were talking before about in California, we don't say how, how, um, how far away anything is. It's all about timing. Right. So uh, how many hours away are you from the club? <laughs> <laughs> it depends what time I leave. Yeah. <laughs> right now I'm at about an hour away. Very nice. Yeah. Hashtag just a replay there, Dean. Hashtag just a replay. See, Felipe wants an avoidable because he was ready to rip the ball, and, you know, they're right there. So Adam's going to have a setup, and Jansen's right there to get that one. Jansen is one of a very good doubles player. He, he played in the U.S. Open with Nick Montalbano. They were friends from juniors, but they didn't do so well at the U.S. Here comes a setup by Nick Riffle into the corner. Jansen's right there. See those hands? It's a nice, easy touch. That's the softest shot I've seen all day. <laughs> uh, you got to watch Kane play because he, he does have, like, beautiful hands. And <laughs> Nick smokes his own teammate there. Well, that's never a good sign when your own teammate hits you. Yeah, and they're laughing it off. Again, guys, we got to do uh, a quick shout out to the uh, MLG Holdings LLC for their support of the tour. Mark and Laura Gibbs, they stepped up in a big right way. Last season, uh, they, they want to encourage you to step up as well uh, and partner with the IRT. Thanks to their support, we're able to remove the paywall. You're able to watch this beautiful action for free. So uh, thanks again to MLG Holdings, Mark and Laura Gibbs, two great friends of mine. I'll see you in two weeks, Mark and Laura Gibbs, in Pop Sioux out. Falls, South Dakota. Lewis Drug Pro-Am, I'm looking forward to it. Great man. tournament, it's a great time. They have a banquet with a cash bar. Oh yeah. Kelly, okay, bring man. your wallet. I know where it's at. Nick's gonna shoot that ball. Felipe just gets right out of the way for that. Here's a big setup by Jansen Allen. See, beautiful pass, touches that side wall. If that doesn't touch the side wall, Nick's gonna get it. But because he has to go this way, and, and he has to go Seven to the right ten. and then to the left, can't get that ball. Yeah, so that the, gives shot, the, the shot selection in doubles is the most important thing. What shot you take right. is the most, important thing with them. Yeah, I think another thing too, Dean, that was uh, Felipe and Jansen's first point in about four to five minutes. It was very important they get on the board. It's not even like uh, Nick and Adam are running away with it. It's just Felipe and Jansen are failing to score and they're making me eat my words. I'll, I'll tell you, when, when I got the draw, when I got the, the sign-ups and I heard that these two were playing together, I didn't know if they played together before or not. Did you ever find that out? No, I wanted to ask him. I just thought that the combination was different. Side out. I mean, Adam and Nick, they play together all the time. Right. And, and serving Nate. You know, they're in the, in the lower section of the, the top 20, so they play open doubles a lot. Right. And as a lefty-righty team, you know, that they're difficult Keep. to play against because, you know, you're Top always out. keeping it down the lanes. You're going to hit Ten, to their forehands. So Adam Mania, Robert Collins, Kane Wastenchuk, three lefties. Trying to, trying to stack my lefties. <laughs> Great kill shot right there. What do you think of that shot, Bobby? Eight serving <laughs> <So 10>. unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. So now that we're you know into the match, do you see anything different, obviously, than we have tournaments back at home. You see some good high-level open plays, but do you see the Woo. biggest difference here, in your opinion, what is the biggest difference between high-level open and what you're seeing right here? Nine um, serving 10. What I, what I really see is that these guys get to the ball. They're able to retrieve the ball and set the ball up for another shot. Um, they hit harder. The ball's moving and they're more accurate with the shooting. That, that's a big thing that I say. 
Yeah, well, that's, that's the biggest difference between open and pro is accuracy. Yeah. And taking low percentage shots and making it high percentage for you. Oh. So, Bobby, what other plans you have here in California? I know you have family. Uh, just a couple of nights spent spending some time with my son, having some dinner, uh, maybe going a little hiking and just enjoying my time here. Okay, so what time should I be ready for dinner? <laughs> we'll, we'll be at Ruth Chris Your in Beverly Hills. About <laughs> 10, nine. Beautiful. 10 serving nine. Felipe and Jansen had a little bit of a comeback there. Jansen is one of the smoothest players on tour. See, see what Jansen did right there? He didn't pinch it and he didn't go down the line. He hit it into the middle, which is Adams getting ready, and that's why he jammed him. He's like, oh, can't get him, even get my racket on. See, it's not even a jump. It's like a hop, right? Yeah. Like another yeah. day in, <laughs> in the neighborhood. But they just do it. Their timing the jump is unbelievable. They know exactly when to do it. Well, what I want you and everybody at home to kind of check in is take a look at the players when they don't have the ball when they when they're not the shooter they're always watching the ball so even when J and when Felipe's shooting Jansen's watching his shot because he's got to know where the ball yeah. is going. there's a bigger difference too from low level players and I'm talking about B and C moving into the A and open is keeping your eye on the ball at all times. Yep. Getting physical out there, Dean. We had a little bit of congestion in the middle. You know what it looks like when players are boxing out in basketball. That's what we had going on right there. Well, Felipe's going to box with the best. Yeah. Ten serving ten. <laughs> Yesterday we had our first ever Felipe versus Felipe on tour. <laughs> Today we had a Daniel versus Daniel. Oh, you see, if Adam waited... Stop, 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 stop. No, you see, I wouldn't give Over. him that. I, Felipe's right. I wouldn't give him a replay. You took the free, You took the shot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the shot Where's he wanted. Hand? If he would have waited, he would have gotten avoidable. Yeah. Patience. But don't ask for a, a, a replay after you hit a crappy shot. Right, That's right. what I don't like. Yeah, can't have your cake and eat it. Well, you know, players are going to try. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Very good shot there by Felipe. Flip, flick of the wrist by Felipe. Woo! Now, you see what Felipe did? He kind of moved up and pushed Adam up into the front where even ten if that ball went to the middle, he wasn't going to get it. How about that shot by Jansen Allen? Great pro doubles action. On the other side of the draw, we got number one seed, Alvaro Beltran, Daniel De La Rosa, current U.S. Open champions. Yes, they versus, are. Versus uh, Rodrigo Montoya and Eduardo Portilla. Mm. Ten Hello. serving ten. And then we got Franco and Faria versus Diaz and Bredebeck. That's going to be a good one as well. Yeah. We got two great matches coming up after these two. Adam and Ian is going to shoot this going for the corner. Splinters. Yeah, he had the position, took the Eleven shot that he wanted, ten. just didn't execute. So, Bobby, your first time on the mic. What's your thoughts now? I got to say, Dean, he's not shot. <laughs> it's it's fun to be with you guys. It's, it's great to watch the IRT in, in action, and uh, it's, it's a great event. And I, I encourage many people to come out and watch the pros play because it's a, it's, a, it's a real good experience for everybody and if you're a racquetball player and if you're not if you're aspiring to be one you should get out there and, and, and take a look at one of these events well Bob just for example I never played racquetball in my life except one or two times ten. in college with just with some buddies and uh, I got a job with the IRT I really wanted to be a writer John Scott convinced me to travel and do some video and uh, I was completely blown away at the athletic ability of these players on tour. Absolutely. They, they just, they give up their bodies, the shots they make. I mean, from Kane going between his legs to Avro just Second, barely sir. kissing the ball in the front of the court. And there's so many characteristics, so many styles, and I love this sport. Yeah. Love it. 
And it's it's fun. It's really a great sport. You have to be here to see to really see what it's like. So twelve serving ten. For for those who don't know, Bobby is a uh, a teacher of karate or taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo. So he's a taekwondo master black belt. Woo. So don't now, mess with him. Tell me how some of that Time training out. has transferred into your racquetball game. Um, it's helped with the footwork, my positioning, getting to the ball a little bit better. Um, my thought being calm during a match. It's helped me with that stuff. So. Kind of breathing down. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a timeout on the court. We're going to take a short break right here ourselves. We'll be right back on the IRT Network, presented by Enet Live. We the people are defined by the things we share and the ones we love. Our book clubs, our tea times, the moments we don't have to say a word. We the people who mess with each other's heads and have each other's backs, who have songs and food and kids Helping, hoping, and dreaming. Who never stop wondering what we'll do or where we'll go next. We the people who are better together than we are alone are unstoppable. Welcome to the entirely new expedition. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, resuming action here. We've got a great game. 14 serving 10. 14 serving 10. Looks like we've got a game point opportunity. Felipe and Jansen trying to take game one. Jansen's going to have to go back, plays it off the back wall. It's a great shot there by Nick Riffle to put them in the box, and they're going to Drive off this game point. 10 serving 14. 10 14. Our head referee Sebastian Fernandez down there with the call. Nia. Great ceiling ball. So the winner of this match is going to take Evan on the winner 14. of the Alex Landa Sam Murray match yeah. against uh, Michael Myers and Tim Herman, two locals. Yeah, Dean, I was saying earlier that Big Canada and uh, 12 serving 14. Alex Landa were taking on two pretty big guys. I just wasn't sure what their names were. Well. Um, I played one of them at the U.S. Open my first time ever, and he has these he has these uh, fuzzy pants he wears in singles. I don't think he has them on. Twelve, in thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I don't even know how to play against you wearing those. And then they like my New York. Uh, he psyched you voice, out. Uh, the curse words that I was saying. Oh which yeah. Can't repeat, or well, the FCC will be all over us, I guess. Yeah, we don't need that. So that was really cool having my buddy Bob on the air. So, uh, 14, absolutely. 12. He's a great guy. <laughs> he was, Big racquetball follower. He was sweating bullets. <laughs> <laughs> he wa he listens to us all the time. Yeah, he does. Uh, he always shares our video. So you guys at home got to share too. Because if you're in the town, maybe we're going to get you on the air as well. If you come out to one of these stops and we know who you are, I guarantee you can find yourself some airtime. And if you don't want it, I don't blame you. 14 serving 12. Now, Felipe and Jansen have had both of them two different opportunities Short, second serve. to end this. And Nick and Adam, they're they're fighting, man. Before the match, Felipe was working on those little lob serves. Looked like two to me. Adam's still waiting on it. I think he got it. Yep. Great shot by Adam and Ia right there. He that said, was a flatty. He said, get 12, that. 30, we had an 14. Antone flatty going on. And Antone, that is, that needs to be uh, copyrighted, yep. No, don't 
don't let them copyright it, then we can't say it. Yeah. Well. Hashtag just a replay. <laughs> <laughs> 12 serving 14. Well, they held off one game point opportunity, Vanilla and Griffin. Both players on the head sponsorship team. Jansen Allen with Wilson. Felipe Camacho with E4. A lot of tight, Woo! tight shots right there. Nick goes down Nick and gets dirty. Bottom board and sent him. 13 serving 14. 13 serves 14. It was 14-10, Dean. They're creeping. Good serve right there. Jansen plays that up. Good pick tough. up by Adam. Tough playing a lefty in Woo. doubles. He got that. Yeah, he I think play he, through. I don't think he was close, Dean. I think, I think he got it by a mile. I think he got it. Felipe doesn't think so. 14 serving 14. No video replays here. No, not yet. Not yet. In the semis, this is, I mean, yeah, this is the quarter, so it's the semis for doubles, right? Yep. Fight out. That's a good call. He stuck up against the wall, and it was a bad serve by Adam. Yep. It, it, that serve is designed to kind of jam Jansen to take in a backhand. We'll see if they can escape out of here. There it winner, is. Yep. And they do escape. Game one in the books, Camacho Allen. 15-13. We'll take a short break right here, right? Absolutely. We'll be back in just a moment, about a 30-second break. You're watching the IRT Network presented by... Enet Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, cold California, Canoga Park. We're gonna check in on the Alex Landa match. Tim Herman, Michael Myers from the Halloween sequel. It's a little scary out there. Sam Murray, big Canada. A referee, Rob Blanton. Getting switched back over to Mania and Riffle coming back into the fold for game two. I'm Dean Bear, Kelly Diesel. It's going to take a short break, guys. We're running back to back to back before. We had four courts going on, and we don't have time to eat a sandwich. And that's what we have to do. We had uh, a couple of guests on the air. And we'll get back with this action right here. I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna leave the mic off for a few minutes as this match gets underway. I'll be right back. Zero serving zero. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jansen Allen will serve. High lob to Nick Griffin. Felipe slaps it down the line, and Adam Ania buries that. Bottom board. Zero serving zero. Short, short, second serve. Second serve. Second serve coming up. an interesting shot right there by Nick Riffle. And here comes a setup coming for Big Plum. Nick goes between the legs. Allen is there. Into the corner. Nobody can get that. It's not a replay. Everybody's asking about that ceiling. And 
Nick is going to come out of the court. That is not a replay. Hopefully, our rules committee will get over there. I went over to one talk serving to zero referee Sebastian Fernandez and let him know there is no court hinders and pro doubles. What great hands right there by Jansen Allen. Nice little push into the corner. Two serving zero. Hand. Two serve zero. Skip by Adam Ania. Three serving zero. Jansen went behind the back. Did it hit you? Okay, again, guys asking, okay, it hit his racket. Well, Jansen says it hits his racket, but what did Sebastian say? I don't know, it wasn't down the line, but I wouldn't have, um, you know, if he doesn't see it hit him, then he can't make that call. Second serve. Short. Second serve call right there. Adam gonna step back and shoot that right down the line. Felipe's getting that. Nice shot into the corner by Nick Riffle. Beautiful shot. Zero serving three. Zero serves three. Serve. Excellent reverse pinch by Adam Mania for his first point in game one, serving three. Two. Setup coming for a riffle. Uh, Camacho would have got that, but I think he hesitated because Jansen made a move for the Two ball. Two serving three. Two serves three. The slap serve. Right down the middle, very smart shot by Jansen Allen. Two serving three. Two serving three. Game two. Wow, Jansen can't get out of the way of that ball. Three serving three. Three serving three. Dean, we got a great match here. A lot of folks do not look at Riffle and Mania as a contending team just because they don't see them as often. But they are an absolutely fabulous Four team serving three. working together. Up by one here, 4-3. Hello, everyone. I'm John Scott, the CEO of the International Racquetball Point. Tour. Giving Kelly Diesel a bit of a break. Yeah, I let him know we three. had no time to eat a sandwich. Right. <laughs> yeah, the young guy is the one who takes a break. Go figure. Yeah, I can't complain. I ate my sandwich. I woofed it down. <laughs> I was saying before about uh, Nick and Adam, uh, being on the, the second part of the top 20, Three, they seven, play five. a lot of open doubles together, so they were a little more seasoned than Jansen and Felipe, probably. Yeah, and, and they've played, they've, that ball goes out, they've probably played doubles as a team uh, probably longer than, definitely longer than most in the tour, maybe second, only. 
Alvaro and Daniel. Three serving five. Three five is the score here in the second. Camacho with a backhand serve off the shoe. Everybody Side wants out. to be in the service box. Side out called. Sebastian Fernandez. Five is serving the three. Referee here. Five three is the score. Half lob serve. Camacho goes to the right. Now Jansen, one of the deadliest forehands in the game today. Jansen is one of the best right side players Six in the serving world. Three. He's been in a slump over the last season or two, though. Seven serving three. Mania and Riffle taking off here, seven three. Make it eight. Two, 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 yep. two. So, John, I was talking before, another eight ball serving three. a funny bounce in the front of the court with that gap against the wall. And I, I, I kind of took a break and went over to the referee and let him know, hey, there's no court hinders. You either think it hit the front wall or it didn't. Right. Yeah, um, as goofy as that lip is, the lip is part of the court. So there are no court hinders unless Eight, three. the tour or uh, television, et cetera, needs to add something to the court. So if we have a microphone inside the court and the ball hits that, then that would be a replay. However, that lip is, like I said, kind of weird. Most of the time when the ball hits it, it comes straight down. And that would be, as goofy as it sounds, that would be considered a skip if it doesn't hit the front wall. Someone told me that that's the um, the air conditioning vent. I think so, yeah. Because uh, the, the guy that fixed Four the court said, eight. if I would have saw that big gap, I would have just covered it up. That would have <laughs> been brutal. Mania has an opportunity here on the backhand to Jansen's forehand, now up top. That's a great ceiling ball. Camacho with some daylight, though, can put it to the right hand side, Nick Riffle there waiting to pound it down. Four serving eight. Four eight, second server, Camacho. Drive serve, backhand side, excuse me, left hand side. Mania is a lefty and throws my right hand backhand right out the door. Eight serving four. Eight four is the score. Nine serving four. Camacho off the back glass. There's Mania wide. Jansen up top with a off balance shot. Allen not really shooting the ball too much. Oh boy. Ten serving four. Ten four here in the second. Camacho and Allen won the first. High lob serve. Right hand side. Allen's there down the line and connects. Four serving ten. Four ten is the score. Great match. Woo! <laughs> Sorry about that, John. I just finished my lunch and I'm glad I came back in time for that between the legs. Four serving shot. ten. Great shot there by Nick Ripple. At 5-10, Camacho 10. and Allen need to make a move right here. They're very capable of getting hot. Yeah, they don't want to force that third game. No, no. 
We have another, another round of doubles. Six serving 10. And then we go straight to the quarterfinals. Long day of racquetball. A long good day of racquetball here in Canoga Park. Allen winds, delivers. Can't put that one down. Camacho calls for it, goes wide right. Dives on the back glass. Making it 7-10. Seven, seven serving 10. 7-10 seven, ten on the head pen scoreboard. High lob serve, comes off the wall just a little bit. Ooh. Splat kill, Jansen Allen was camping, but the 10 serving shot was seven. perfect, 10-7. Yeah, Adam and Mia, that was beautiful. And his partner rolls one out there. 11 serving seven. Ripple. Overhead cross court. Oh, and Camacho buries it into the ground. He had a plum, had the wall. 12 serving seven. I think he got a little too excited there. Skips it in the service box. Big point right here if Riffle and Mania can get it. And they can't, at least on that half of the rotation. 12 serving seven. 12-7, high lob serve. Allen's gonna cut this off, go wide. That ball's gonna sail right up to the encroachment line. That's a plum for Camacho. Seven serving 12. We got a half out, 7-12. See what Allen does here. He's gonna go with a kind of an off-speed drive Z serve. Second, serve. Second serve coming up. Too much power. Allen losing earlier in his semis to a great player named Alvaro Beltran. Maybe you've heard of him. The great Mexican national champion. Eight serving 12. Eight US, 12 now. U.S. Open champion. Doubles. Champion. In double. Allen's looking to shoot this. Oh, he gets tied up, but still able to get into the front wall. Some missed shot opportunities here. I think Mania even thought it was two, but it wasn't called. Jansen set up into the corner, and a great shot. Felipe Camacho was over on the left-hand side, running block, and Riffle couldn't get to the ball. It was a perfectly executed. Nine serving 12. Almost tender, but not. Nine 12. Woo. That was vicious. A lot of sponsors out there. 9-12. It's going to be a big setup. Allen really missing some down the line shots. He hit that one and still kissed the sidewall a little bit. Uh, got away with it there, but Allen seems about a half step off. Normally he's just flat Ten rolling all 12. of those. And look at this comeback. Camacho and Allen now at 10-12. That's a good serve. Make it 11-12. Yeah, like I said, John, that they don't want to see a game three. You're exactly right. Camacho and Allen have 11, not led 12. in this game. They won the first 15-13. Going to be a close one here regardless of who wins this game. Mania up top, Oscar, a great lob serve. Oh, boy. I believe that just hit his racket. Replay. Replay called. The reason that's a replay is because Camacho had the lane and the cross court. 11 serving 12. Or, excuse me, the, the lane and the pinch. He opted to go cross court. Which is not a shot that he had. Riffle pounds that down the line. There's Allen. Now look at Allen getting up front. Oh, and he knew he was too far forward. Great position play and pass from Adam Mania. 12 fast 11. balls out there, John. 12-11. I tell you what, Felipe Camacho is a fantastic doubles player on the backhand side. 
these two, if they Ball play a little bit Levin. more together and get more in sync, I think they'd be a really, I mean, they're a good team as it is, but I think they could take it to the next level just by more matches together. Missed stealing ball there. Replay. Cam Camacho wants a replay. He'll get it. The ball was up. Camacho, like I said, on the backhand side, is very impressive, Kelly. He's really shooting some nice shots. 12 serving 11. He reminds me a little bit of a Rocky Carson over on that backhand side from a shot-making ability standpoint. He's got the same build as Rocky Carson. And there he is, finding the corner, blocking the players out behind him. 11 serving 12. On the side out, 11-12. Drives east serve. There's Riffle. Goes down the line. Jansen. Jansen left that Replay. ball up about hip high. No la vio, estaba al frente. So Sebastian, what he just said in Spanish was that he could not see the ball and the ball was still up. Camacho disagrees. I do too as well. I think uh, Nick thought it's a little closer than what it is, but the call is a replay. 11 serving 12. Do it again. 11 12. Jansen will more than likely hit a Z serve. He does the backhand side, kisses out a little bit. Now into the corner. That's what that serve is designed to do, but Jansen couldn't connect. Now in the rally we go. Camacho back deep. Has to hit a weak shot there. Oh boy, that's a bad shot from Ripple. An, uh, an ill advised dink. And he gets away with one. Allen. Nothing very... but splinters. 11 serving 12. Giving the half out over to Camacho. Will come with a backhand. Probably a half Z serve, or excuse me, a half drive serve. Three Second walks serve. Yeah, and before the match, John, I believe we'll see the lob here by Felipe. And that's what he was working on more than the Z serve. Uh, right before this double shot. Felipe sets up now into the corner. Ripple covering nicely. There's Jansen with backup. Adam and Nia with a plumb into the corner, and they find the service box at 12-11. 12 covering 11. Time out. Jonathan, you're exactly right. Scott will keep them. On time, he's got a brand new handy dandy IRT stopwatch, also called his iPhone, and he will keep the 10 second clock going for those two players. Very rare that we see Alvaro and Rocky in a quarterfinal. Uh, speaking of Rocky, I don't know if you've seen that sleeve that he's wearing says aquas michael aquas is a financial advisor who specializes in helping individuals individual businesses save thousands of dollars a year aquas is also a partner of the international racquetball tour so please support those who support us and check out michael aquas from new york on facebook or linkedin today michael aquas here is another match on the court there is Sebastian Franco, Andre Perea. They are playing together or on different teams? They are playing together. Excuse me. Uh, yes, they'll be taking on Diaz and Breton back on this court next. The team, Alvaro Beltran, Daniel De La Rosa. Goal both serving 11. Also still in the singles. We'll see them in the quarterfinals later tonight. Back to the action we go here, 12-11. Mania goes wide. Oh, Jansen's got to get that one. He does. Nice get. Now he shoots one cross court to the shoelaces of Adam Mania, who can't hang on to the hot box. Half out. 12 serving 11. For Grigio, you're absolutely right. I think it is an android. It's good to see you in the box. Preparation H gets rid of those androids, by the way. If you need to. Here we go. Jansen with the diving get. What a great get there. Now up top. Quick hands back deep. The shells up front. Mania covering nicely for Riffle. And Camacho holds up so that he does not roll out the head of Nick Riffle. Mentioned two tour sponsors there too, huh? Hey, do what I got to do. <laughs> he was right in front of you. You were right in front of him. I believe an avoidable is called. Yeah. 
11 serving 12. 11, 12, uh, Matt, it's uh, minutes away. And what I'm gonna do this time, actually show you the right match, sorry about that. Kelly, when I give you a break, sit here calling play by play 12. with guys warming up. Wrong camera, I'll take the blame for that one. Drive Z serve, almost three walls, not called. It looked like it was from here, evidently not. Oh, look at that, Mania steps up and buries it. Now, that's one of the things that we see different from last year. Adam and Nick 12. are a bit more physical, and they're not afraid to take court position if they need to. Jansen yeah. sets up and skips the ball, I believe. Skip ball. Skip ball called. Looked like a skip from my vantage point, John. But like you said, uh, Adam and Felipe, actually, you know when two basketball players box each other out for a rebound, they're just hip and hip. That's what I saw earlier between Felipe and Adam. They were just hip and hip, both of them going for the ball, not ball afraid to get a 11. little physical, but nothing over the line, shoving, pushing, nothing like that. Riffle back, shoots a laser beam. 13 serving 11. And they're finally off 12, 13, 11. That's a big rally. Camacho, oh, he gets tied up on the door. Big shot opportunity here, and Adam Mania makes him pay, burying that into Plum City, 14, 11. 14 serving 11. For the tiebreaker, high lob serve, half lob serve it is. Camacho goes wide, now he's there. Riffle gets out of the way. Now he's got an opportunity for the game. Right in the middle of the court, Felipe with a nice shot. Jansen, you better put this away, says Camacho, and he does. Two, two ounces. Buries the ball in the corner, half out. One rotation away from getting back in the box. Mania Riffle need to end it here. 14-11. Again for a trip to the tiebreaker. tiebreaker. That's such a good double shot. Jansen waiting. They want, two players want a hinder, no hinder called. Oh, that's tough. I don't know if I agree with the hinder. I saw no hinder. I, I saw your hand, but no hinder. 37 people called for a hinder there. 11, Sebastian Fernandez 14. says no. What a get. That's just reaction from Felipe. That's a weak return, but it looked like it was going to stick to the back wall. It doesn't riffle with a plum, buries it. Jansen right now is the player on the court that's making the least 11 shot. 11 serving 14. He needs to step up his execution just a little bit if they want to win this game. Camacho, back deep, backhand side into the corner. Oh, look at that. That's a great heads up play. Mania was guarding the down the line. 14, Knowing that 7, if it 11. pinched, it either needed to roll or Riffle was going to be right there up top for the game. Riffle's hot. Can't put that one down. And Camacho. Uh oh. Looked like he had an opportunity. Skip Riffle ball. skips the ball half out. We got a good one here, John. Shout out to everyone watching. Hello, Alex. Hello, Terry. Patrick. 14, Jody, 13, 11. Erica. Hello, Rod Southwood. <laughs> 14-11 drives E serve. Jansen back deep into the corner. That's a good pickup, but it's going to fall short. Camacho needs to connect here wide right, and he makes it. Half out again. That's the fourth game point opportunity for Riffle and Mania they could not capitalize on. Hey, what's up, Rod Southwood? Hope you're having a great day. 11 serving 14. Rod, one of the investors and on the board of the International Racquetball Tour. 11-14, that's a good serve. Camacho with great hands. Finds the sidewall roller in the 12th point. 12 serving 14. 12 serving 14. It's going to be a drive Z once again. A wraparound. Jansen almost caught that one on the shoestring. Oh, look at that. And another skip. Kelly, that's what I was talking about. Jansen's execution is not quite 14. at the level it needs to be. 12 yep. 14. It's not that he doesn't have it. He's just missing a few shots right now. That runs down the line. Jansen's over the great get. He's going to get this one too. Back deep. Oh, he's got to go up top. That was a great shot. The ceiling ball skipper. 
Fifth game point opportunity for Riffle and Mania. Mr. Mania in the uh, stands. You can hear him yell in there. Then come on, let's go. Fifth game point opportunity. 14-12. Drives the serve. Camacho's there. Goes wide into the corner. Now he's got an opportunity. Calls Jansen off. Mania swinging away at Jansen. Jansen should watch out. He's going to get a bullet over a cross court if he has that opportunity. Uh, oh, look at that. And a ceiling ball skip to get the rotation over for the side out. And then Camacho skips a ceiling ball to give the second game to Mania and Riffle. That one's 15-12. The first was 15-13. We've got a tiebreaker coming up an hour into this match. 0-0 zero, zero. next. Game to 11. We'll be back in a moment on the IRT Network. People in racquetball are my family. I like to say um, that's one of the things I enjoy about the sport so much is that once you play it, once you get into it, then you become part of a family. It makes traveling on the road as much as we do easy, way easier than what it, uh, what it possibly could be if we didn't. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live on the IRT Network. I'm John Scott. Looks like we'll be zero serving zero. Dean Bear here in just a moment. After this game, or at critical points of the uh, other match, we'll join Bredenbeck and Diaz with Franco and Perea. But first, we have a tiebreaker here. One serving zero. <laughs> Dean Bear joins us again. Dean, interesting and exciting Zero doubles matchup one. here. This is a quarterfinal. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, the second game was obviously went really well for a Nick and Adam. So, uh, 
131. You know, and obviously it brought him into this tiebreaker. Good behind the back shot right there. So what's your prediction here, John? Well, I can't predict, but I think it's going to be a great match. Um, one serving one. You know, really the first game and the second, very, very close. If I was the coach for Camacho and, and Allen, I would be talking with Allen a little bit. He missed a bunch of shots at the second half of that uh, second game. Uh, and I, I would try to get him to tune it in a little bit more, stay lower, and try to hit more line and cross-court shots. Try not to hit the corners as much as what he's doing. If I was the coach for Riffle and the Nia, I would tell them to keep hitting it over to Jansen's side as much as possible and force him to win the game. Now that serve is a good serve that Camacho just did, the straight down the middle, splitting the upright. But, but you, can't, um, you can't just sit on that serve. Once they adjust, you gotta be moving and altering that. Jansen with a nice shot there. What Jansen was doing in game one that was extremely effective is he Three wasn't hitting one. the corners. He was going straight in, kind of in the middle of the court, and it was catching both Nick and Adam you know, off guard. And I, I didn't notice if they adjusted Start, for second game serve. two or if Jansen adjusted and tried, went for corners mm. and stuff like that. But I seen Jansen was going bottom board a lot right. and missing. Camacho, very strong player. I was talking earlier, Dean, when you weren't, uh, when you were taking a break. 1-3, by the way, is the score. Uh, that Camacho really reminds me a lot of Rocky Carson on the backhand side. Very solid, very compact. He gets to a bunch of shots. Look at the hands right there by yeah. Jansen. Look, I'm telling you, when Jansen is on, I've said it for the last year and a half or two years, he's one of the best right side players in the world. He really, really is. He's been to, uh, he's won a national doubles title with Tony Carson, runner up the second year. Um, he just, he's got this great ability and Three he's way quicker, one. deceptively quicker than what a lot of people give him credit for. 3 1 is the score. This game is to 11. Let's win by one, and it's for all the proverbial marbles to get in. That's a tough shot. Jansen winds, delivers into the corner. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. When you're not rolling, stop trying to roll it out. Don't force shots. That's a great pickup. Going to be in the corner. No, wide. Look at that. Jansen was covering the same shot my mind was seeing. And they hit that. Mania Three hit that right one. to the knees. That's a tough shot when the ball's sailing and it's not too high or too low. Jansen tied up a little bit there. Yeah. The end of game two, I mean, Felipe tried that skip ceiling ball where he kind of got jammed, and if he turned himself around, he might have gotten a Start, ball, second serve. definitely a better shot, a, a better mm -hmm. opportunity. Absolutely. The winner of this plays Landa and Murray. Uh, I tell you, there's a lot of balls dying back here in the back corners. The uh, head pro pin, the best ball Bar in the world, one. does tend to suck to the wall a little bit more. Dies on on uh, soft surfaces like the back glass. We've seen that about six times in this match. Not a good uh, selection, shot selection by Nick Riffle right there. Five Just serving one. The ball instead of taking a full swing. At five one, if uh, Camacho and Allen get another point here, I would not be surprised at all to see a timeout. Riffle winds, delivers, and Jansen too far back. Jansen's given a lot of court position away, and just right there, Riffle was set up. Jansen was kind of between him and the wall instead of trying to get back over to center. Yeah, I haven't really seen Nick hit the ball like cross court at all. He's definitely staying down the line a lot in a pinch, so I'm wondering why they're kind of covering that. Not sure why a uh, hinder wasn't called there, but Camacho ah, no is going to say, hey, thanks a lot. La mano. <laughs> Something a mano, I don't know what that means. One he serving said, five. So said, sorry, brother. <laughs> he did. 
High lob serve. Allen will go cross court. No, down the line. This is what Camacho wants, but he may have been thrown off a little. Riffle was trying to get the ref's attention, wanting Two a replay. Five. Got the point anyway. 2-5 is the score. Here in the breaker, again, this is just one game to 11. Oh, oh boy. Jansen set up. Can't put that one away. Set up again. Right down central. Those are the shots that Jansen needs to get out of. He's point blank on the front wall, and he's hitting it about six feet high. Replay, replay called. And the reason that replay was called is because Sebastian feels that Mania had ample room. Camacho cleared, even though it was in the air. He, he cleared the ball. Five. And he could have, he is in uh, Mania, could have had a shot. And I probably would have taken it if Camacho was up. Yeah, as a player, you kind of look and say, I'd, I want that opportunity because, uh, you know, my, my opponent's out of position. Replay. Stop. Replay. What? Mania says, I, I hit replay. his racket in my backswing. That's an avoidable. <laughs> Camacho's not going to say anything because Mania is right. Sebastian just didn't see it. I'm seeing a, the ball fly off the wall, the front wall. It's coming. It's very lively here. Well, here we got a rules question, John. Oh, hold on just one second. So that was an avoidable hinder, but Two serving five. there's not a rule that allows me to overturn a referee's call. Just like if that ball skipped and he called it good and I saw a skip, I can't say, no, 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 no that skipped. It, it, we, we aren't going to cross that threshold where I start to overturn different calls because that's a very slippery slope. Absolutely. And I don't know if, if it hit him on the backswing. What a shot wow. right there. The ball knows. Nick just gave a, uh, uh, a Stefan Curry two. shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Five and, two. and seeing a white boy do it was kind of funny. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> High lob serve, middle of the court. No, actually, sails just a little over. Jansen with a girl. Oh, wow. Mania. Skip ball. Mania had a fantastic get right there. Yeah. The anticipation. Two that was five. That was really special. That's a high level play. Two five. Great Mania reverse. more than likely uh, the early candidate Three for most improved five. player on uh, on tour this season. Had a great win at our last stop against Mario Mercado. Interesting shot selection right there by uh, Nick Riffle. A backhand reverse pinch. Four serving five. Four five on the head pen scoreboard. That's a weak return, mate. Oh, look at that. It, Turned out in Camacho's favor back deep. He goes wide. Mania's there. Jansen has to go off the back glass. Look at Mania. He's everywhere. He's hit the last three for his team. One at 38 feet. The very next one at about six feet. Now he's got another opportunity. Big plum into the corner. Jansen's there. Looked like it rolled. Not called. Mania stays with it. Great rally right Look, there. Look, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, Adam Mania's in the zone. He's playing well. Anytime as a player, even if you don't feel like the crowd appreciates all of it, anytime as a player you see that you're covering what you just covered and you got a shot like he just retrieved, right now he's the hottest player on the court. The 
Two skipped. bounces. Two bounces called. Jansen skipped. Did it? Yeah, it went from his racket to the ground to the front wall. Mm. Well, that would be a skip. <laughs> five serving five. Stra no, I mean straight. <laughs> <laughs> five I, serving five. I tell you, as good as Adam and he is playing, Nick is also taking the right shot at the right time. Yeah, uh, as a as a right-handed player, he's playing extremely well right here. And as I say that, Jansen buries it into the corner. Five serving five. It's 10-7 over on the other court. Perea Franco up over Diaz Bredenbeck. Skip ball. We're at 5-5 five, five here. No, 6-5. Six serving five. Yeah, six five. <laughs> Drive Z. Riffle buries it. I tell you, these guys are playing some good ball. They've had a couple unfortunate calls against them. Six serving five. Ooh. Did that crack? I think it did. Yeah, that's tough. Good serve from Camacho. I tell you, man, I'm super impressed Seven, with Costa five. Rica's Felipe Camacho Sharp, over on that serve. backhand side. Really, really solid. Yeah, but sometimes he takes a shot that's very unorthodox. And I think if he, if he can adjust a little bit, uh, his game will elevate even more. Yeah. Five serving seven. Five seven. That ball definitely skipped. Yeah, but Adam's saying, I didn't see it. He didn't see it. You shot it. You should know. Skip. Mania <laughs> hoping for the call Five, good. Seven, seven. <laughs> it is not. 5 7. Again, this game's just to 11, so we're getting close. 11 7. <laughs> uh oh. Good get right there. That is, but Riffle lines, delivers right to Camacho. Another cross-court shot. Jansen tied up, but Camacho gets it now off the back glass. This is a plum. Jansen needs to put those down, and he does. Catches the back wall, excuse me, the back of the side wall. Cracks it out back deep. That's the best shot in, in doubles, is that wide-angle pass. Uh, Seven serving five. And they... Both Mania and Riffle were kind of up a little too far, and there's no way they could get that. 7-5. Riffle back to the ceiling. Camacho. Oh, boy. I'm not sure what that was. Some sloppy play here in this rally. Now Camacho goes back. Wine delivers cross court. Back to the other side. Who's going to get this? That's going to be a plum. Jansen. Couldn't put it away, and Camacho looking good. Heads up, down the line play. Stayed in position. Used his body to create space between the player and the ball. Comes up with a nice, easy down the line. Eight, seven, five. What, what impressed me about that rally is when Felipe's shooting, where Jansen is, he's, he's blocking out. Uh, Nick's getting caught behind him, and that's putting him into an adverse situation. Another good shot right there by Felipe Camacho. You're, you're exactly right, John. He is on fire right now. The game is about, uh, obviously, waves, and right now, uh, Allen and Camacho have Nine the wave. Nine serving five. Here. Yeah, I believe if I was Riffle and Mania, I would have taken a timeout right there. Yeah, there was Lob Z serve up top. Camacho with a around the world shot has to jump over the ball. There's another one. Can he do three in a row? Yes. <laughs> he gets it with his third around the world defensive offensive shot. And that gives them match point. 10-5. High lob Z. What a diving shot right there. 
Oh my God. And that's going to do it. Camacho and Allen win in three. Great match, 11-5. Don't go anywhere because right now we're switching over to Perea Franco and Diaz and Bredenbeck. Kelly Diesel will be coming in. We'll have Kelly come in in just a moment. Oh, here comes Kelly now. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Diesel here with the IRT joining this game. Get your scoreboard here in just a second. Eight serves 13, what I've just heard. Plenty of racquetball coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. Jake with a nice get. Andre's going to take that one off the back wall. Shoot it to the left corner. Doesn't look good by his body language. And it seems like that one skipped. our scoreboard ladies and gentlemen Jose Diaz and Jake find themselves down here in game one Ten thirteen here in game one Jose and Jake trying to battle back here Eleven thirteen. They're putting points together on uh, our show court, Daniel De La Rosa and Alvaro Beltran warming up. Nice shot there by Jose. He's going to track that one, shoot it up against the ceiling. Sebastian off the back wall. Puts that one away. That'll put Sebastian and Andre back into the service box. Leading 13-11. Great rallies. I think a skip was called before that. So second server, 13-11 still. Good get by Jake. Sebastian there off the back wall. Jake to Andre, and Andre puts it away in the right corner. That'll put him at game point. What a dive. Jake off the back wall. Andre tries to put it away. Jake's there, but he does put it away. Andre, Andre not sure. Sebastian says he'd use an appeal if he had one. Dean Bear, my partner, has always told me it's not over until you hit game, or yeah, until you reach game point. And once you do that, that's when your nerves start coming in. And we'll see if Sebastian and Andre can finish this off here and prevent Jake and Jose from doing just that and climbing in, grabbing another one. 12 14. Plenty of fans in the Athletic Society Club here. Great shot by Sebastian, I believe, right there. 
forcing Jake to serve, second server. Jose <laughs> tries to, knew he wasn't gonna make that front wall. Should have just sneezed, might have pushed it. So 14-12, second opportunity for game point here. Or for game one. Ooh, and that's what Jake does. Savagery. The Minnesotan. Jose, he's going to shoot that one. Sebastian returns it. Jake shoots it down the right side. Sebastian there. Jose. Andre getting in the mix. He's got two in a row. There goes Jake. Trying to find that right side. Jose tracks it to the back court. Andre's kind of got a plum. Jake there to save it. Andre behind his back but can't get it. Crowd really appreciates that one. That was fantastic. You're going to see that action all weekend long on the IRT network, folks. Great effort. Need a quick towel. You can't see it, but Andre's in that back right corner. Him and Sebastian were just laughing at each other. He was so close to pulling that off. He would have gone behind his back. It would have gone down the line. Nobody would have been there to get it. Sebastian was on the far right side. Jake had already given up his body to make the get off the plum. It was fantastic. We'll pull up the chat box here in a second. Everyone following along. Jose and Jake still trying to battle back. They need two points to knock this one up. And not a good effort there. Jake off the back wall. Does make it there. And there's another point. Thirteen, fourteen. That drive to the left side. Jose cuts it down, goes down the line. Andre, great get. He's going to set Jake up. He leaves it up top. Sebastian, Jose to get there. Andre. It's a mix up there in the front. Jake and Jose tried to push that one to a tie, ma or a tie game. Instead, Andre and Sebastian back onto the service box. Their third, fourth opportunity actually for game point. at game point. And that one's not gonna do it, all splinters. Andre, high lob serve, first serve. And Jake says, catch that. <laughs> I gotta get a, a radar on that. That thing was a bullet. Jose and Jake <clears throat> just kind of joking about that up front. Looking for a replay and they get it. Hi, Lob. Andre. Woo! He says, all right, Jake. You got speed. I got touch. Jake with the backhand. Andre tracks it down to that left side. Jake finds it but skips it in there. So this will be the fifth and sixth opportunities to take game one here for Andre and Sebastian.
Jose, well done. Jake's gonna track that in the corner, go off the ceiling. Here's Sebastian, he's gonna shoot it. Couldn't exactly see what happened, but with Jake's reaction and the crowd's applause, that'll make it 15-13. If that was game one, game two is gonna be something special. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back here live on the IRT Network, presented by Enet Live. Shadows fall And you're wondering Who did call For a little Company There's always me If your great romance Should end For a friend, darling, you need never be. There's always me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2019 California Open. We've got a great one coming up. You can see on the court, Daniel De La Rosa. And Dean, I know him by Lalo. Can you give me his full name? Eduardo. Eduardo. He has had quite a weekend so far, making a name for himself. Yeah. Upset in Big Canada. Yeah, he has a great singles match um, against um, Sam Murray, and uh, and and now he's in this doubles match. And they're a really good doubles team. However, they're playing the best doubles team, the reigning U.S. Open champion doubles team. That's true. Just to give you guys an update. Uh, Jake and Jose, they did end up losing game one, 15-13. It was an excellent comeback. We are going to switch it back over to, uh, or keep it right here, actually, to Rodrigo and Eduardo. There's Avro and Daniel. I wish Daniel had a, you know, more culture name, I guess you could say. That's, that's not the right word, but it is fun saying Eduardo, Rodrigo, Avro, and then Daniel. Daniel has an excellent player. I believe he's the third ranked player in the world. He is the number one ranked doubles player along with his partner Alvaro up there in the blue. Zero, zero. They're an excellent team. They are both representing Team Mexico. And I can't zero, zero. wait to see what they got in store. Well, this is Mexico versus Mexico. These, these teams play each other often in like Mexican nationals, I believe. Yeah, that was skip off. Zero serving zero. Zero serving zero here. Eduardo Portilla getting ready to do a Alvaro a little bit of his own medicine. Uh, good opportunity there for Eduardo, but he skipped it in. Zero zero. Both players uh, skipping some pretty easy shots early in. Alvo skipped the first one, Eduardo skipped the second one, Rodrigo skipped that one. What a great serve by the Mexican monster. Ah, oh, De La Rosa read it, and now De La Rosa skipped. So all four players have a, a pretty easy skip right out of the gate. Yeah, I agree. Referee Nick Ripple will be in control of this one. And our quarterfinal single starts a little bit later. What a great read One, by seven, the Mexican zero. monster. Yeah, right. <laughs> gives us our first point of the match. 
Set up off the back wall for De La Rosa. Skipped it in. So he's Dean Bear. I'm Kelly Diesel, and this is the IRT Network. This is our second quarterfinal men's double. Got another one going on to the right. Rodrigo is going to shoot that one, but... See, if you, if you notice, Alvaro didn't go up to cover the pinch right there because he just covered it last time, so it was a good chance Rodrigo wasn't going to take the shot again, and he didn't. So another really good read by Alvaro. And he tracks that one. Good get by Eduardo. You think Eduardo's ready for this, Dean? I think he is. I got to, you know, I don't know him. Obviously, he's making a name for himself in the singles. I just, I'm not sure he's prepared for uh, Alvaro and Daniel. Well, I think it was two years ago at the 18 and under Woo! junior. He proved me wrong right there. Uh, at the 18 and under, he played in the, the finals against um, Mauro Rojas, and it was a really good match. I was the in attendance watching, and Lalo came in second. So he, he's definitely got the caliber. Um, n now I think it's really uh, – he has the shots and he has the ability. Now I think it's time for his mental game to kind of take a next step. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Like today, I'm sure he, he, he moved well against Big Canada. So he'll move a little, you know, he'll move up the ring a little bit as well. Oh, that one. That one went out. Went out and about. <laughs> They're going to have to track that one down upstairs. Yeah, because they need. Nut, nut. Yep, got to use the same ball. Got to use the same ball. Alvaro Bailey gets a racket on that. Ooh. This is going to be a good one, Dean. Absolutely. Rodrigo says, I got this. You see that communication there between him and Eduardo? Absolutely. Ooh. That's the right shot to take, that reverse pinch. He just missed it. Yeah, execution. And these guys are going at it here on court two. Jake and Jose Diaz are just running around. down the line shot right there by Alvaro Beltran. <laughs> Let's get a, One serving oh, two. Get a check in on the other score. One serving two here. We'll see what's going on on the Perea Franco Diaz Redenbeck line uh, game. One serving three in that game two. Yeah, two Jose two. in the lead. Ooh, behind the back, but he's not going to get to that one. Three, seven, um, two. I, I, I like watching Alvaro and Danny play doubles. I don't know. There's something about it that the, Four, they communicate seven, well. Um, I know that since Danny turned pro, Alvaro's been very instrumental, uh, you know, mentally on the road, traveling, stuff like that. So... And this past U.S. Open for the both of them was was just really fantastic. Five serving two. So it's nice to see. It's almost like a big brother type thing. They're not brothers. Replay is the call. Hashtag just a replay. See, there's where Lalo's game's got to improve. He had some body contact with Alvaro. He still tracked the ball, but the shot he took just wasn't enough. And then he didn't get into position after that shot. What an overhand by Beltran. Aye, aye, aye. Reserving five. Reserves five on the headpen scoreboard. 
Alvaro's gonna shoot this off the back wall right Ooh. into the corner. Easy winner. Serve Four, return kill. Five. See, a lob serve is not, obviously you're not gonna get an ace on it, but you just wanna generate a weak return. Great shot there by Lalo. And he called Four, Rodrigo five. off on that ball. Yeah. The communication is great between the two. It's all of them. Alvaro and Danny, they both know exactly where they're going to be. Five Alvaro four. is one of, or in my opinion, the best doubles player ever right now that, yeah. I, that I've seen. Yeah, so, for sure. So let me clarify that. Uh, because I don't want the box to go crazy with this guy, that guy. Right. S since I've been following IRT for about 10, 10 years or so, I haven't Four, seen anyone play five. better doubles than uh, Alvaro. Well, Dean, you know that chat box is going to go crazy no matter what. That's okay. So Bob Strangio's watching. He says, we need more color from that Long Island guy. Yeah. yeah Bob, you left. <laughs> you missed your, your favorite two players playing. That's true. <laughs> Six serving five. Six serving five. Lalo going to take that one. Danny with his famous backhand swinger. Another great reverse pinch by Lalo Portilla. Tell you, he's, he's really shown a lot as far as shot selection here today. Early. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Dean. Five serving six. Lalo back in the service box. Little skip there by Rodrigo Montoya going, trying to go bottom board. Way to stay aggressive, Portilla. Six, seven, five. Six, five, it's, I think it's gonna stay neck and neck all game, Dean. It's a great get by Eduardo. Wow. Almost the second one. How did Alvaro take that reverse pinch from shoulder high? That was amazing. Good bring it across by De La Rosa. Those soft hands, Dean. Nobody's got them like him. Lalo going over across. What a great get by Beltran. Ah, oh, Danny skipped an easy one. Yeah, you won't see that often. No. What I, I like is, is Danny, no matter what the score, he's gonna take the shot that he wants. He's, he doesn't get pressure. So Danny went after that ball, and I think Alvaro hip-checked him and Nine, said, I'll seven, get five. it. <laughs> Nine, five. Nine There's their five. communication, the hip-check. Oh, what a great shot by Beltran. Back in action here. 11 serving five. 11 serving five. Timeout on the court. We'll stay with you here. Maybe we'll be able to switch the camera over to the other doubles match. We'll get that in a second. And there it is. We got a nice little shot right there. You missed it by Sebastian Franco. Just punched it into the corner of a little Alvaro Beltran touch of his own. Oh. 
great down the line right there. Jake couldn't get that one. Oh, he called a replay. I, I had the computer screen in the way. <coughs> My bad. My bad there, Dean. Not fast enough on the mute button for you. When, when you got a, um, something gets caught in your throat, it's just automatic. Yeah. We, we still had a timeout on court uh, B with Beltran and Della Rosa. Uh, should, be, should be back momentarily. But as always, this particular match is, um, is good right here. Knowing Jake Bredenbeck and Jose Diaz as doubles partner. 11 serving five. Drive there by Montoya. Did we switch back? That, I was watching Montoya. We haven't yet. We've got that rally going on with Jake. Five serving 11. I think Jake skipped that one into there. So we got Eduardo serving. We're back here on the main court. Five, five, 11. five serving 11. It comes a plum. Do we have a plum counter yet, Dean? No. I got a plum garden. <laughs> Speaking of plums, Cindy has a couple of like beautiful lemon Six trees in the lemon. back of her house. I wanted to pick one off. Yeah, she uh, she was telling me she uses them for her water and her teas. Great shot by Alvaro. I think, what time is it? We have our next match at four, right? That's. And here we are at three already. Singles comes up at 4 p.m. Four, five, six, and seven. Seven serving 11. Seven, 11, Rodrigo Montoya with the serve. Woo! Uh, I thought he had it, but apparently it hit the floor first, eight huh? Yeah. 8-11. Rod Rodrigo called it right away. Nice yeah. little touch down the line by Daniel De La Rosa. No skip on that one. Alvi said something to him there, and Daniel started cracking up. Probably said you should have done that one before. Absolutely. Ah, uh, did oh. hit the front. Great get there by Alvi. Alvaro's amazing. He just. What a flick from behind his back, Daniel De La Rosa. Great get, Montoya. We've seen it before, the overhand. Great tracking by Eduardo. He's proven me so wrong, Dean. He's definitely holding his own. Oh, great pass into the corner. What a great rally, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd loves it, Kelly. I'll tell you, it woke me up. I yeah. was going for a little lull, and that was fantastic. You got to get you them Red Bulls. I need one, actually. Eduardo shot all the way from the back. Set up from Bella. Della Rosa, but he is right there. Got great hands, and Rodrigo gets that. Daniel goes bottom board and comes up splinters. Eight Nothing but wood. <laughs> Eight serves 11 on the head pen scoreboard. Portia coming. Wow, Alvaro cuts that off with a pinch rollout. Daniel on that left side, shoots it straight into the floor. Daniel's extremely aggressive. What a good switch right there by De La Rosa and Beltran. You see, you know, normally 
the person on the left is is the stronger player and the quarterback. And right there, Alvaro pointed to Danny and called the switch. And it was it was great communication from these two. Off the ceiling there by Daniel Eduardo. Into that right corner. Alvi yeah. follows it up and puts it away. Not a smart shot by Eduardo Portilla. Twelve serving nine. Twelve serves nine on the head pen scoreboard. Game number one. Wow. Another fantastic shot by Della Rosa. So in the Andre and Sebastian match, it is eight serving six. That's Andre and Sebastian serving eight six. Wow, great court position by Be Beltran and Della Rosa. I tell you, they cover so much court. Just when you think you got the easiest shot to get a point, they're right there and they get it. It's amazing. And just like that, two quick points on the other court. Ten serving six now. Andre and Sebastian in control. Wow. They did take game one. Beltran has the best shot selection ever. Sorry, he's just nine. gentlemen. He's smart. So what's the score of the... Um, Nine serving 14. Uh, Jake and Jose are 11. down 11-6. Okay, 11-6. Perea and Franco, for those of you that want to know at home, I think uh, Jake's mom is in the box. 12 serving 14. 12 serving 6 on court 2. And we got 9-14 here. Great switch by Alvaro and Danny. Gee, every time the switches are perfect. 10-14 on the head pin scoreboard. Thirteen serving six on court two. Oh, uh, Alvaro's back too far. Can't yeah. catch up to that one. He needed to call his horse. 14. Yeah, it was a smart play. And uh, Eduardo and Rodrigo, they're rattling some points. Yeah. I don't know if it's for naught or not, but we'll see. Can certainly carry that momentum into game two. Woo! Getting uh, after it in that front court. Now Duardo comes out on top. The skinny, the skinny guy on the court. Montoya with a lob serve. Danny's going to go up top. So it's 614. Jake and Jose are in the box serving. Trying to keep their hopes alive. 13-14 on our court over here. Yeah, we've got some some close ones. Guys, we're trying to give you as much information as we can. Alvaro doesn't want that one. Match point over here. Where? We'll flip it over here. Probably have a long rally here. And they got half out. Giant rally going on here. Wow. We're going to flip back and forth. What gets right here? Look at this rally. Outstanding effort by the Mexican duo up front. We'll take it. We'll leave it right here, actually. Jake I and Jose did fight off that match point opportunity. They're back in the box serving at 
I tell you, Rodrigo wanted uh, some sort of hinder, and I have to agree with him. When he was spinning, he didn't have enough room to get his racket prep ready to take that shot. And, and Daniel was smart about it. Gave him not enough room, but some room. And maybe that's just a bad call by the ref. But I honestly think that should have been a replay. Yeah, is that a timeout on our court, Dean? I think it is. I believe that's a timeout. So match point opportunity here between Andre Perilla and Sebastian Franco versus Jose Diaz and Jake Bredenbeck. <laughs> Looked like a short serve called there. Yeah, high lob short. Jake just rips it. Setup coming for. They're both there. And they get back in position. A replay, they're still alive. I thought Jake and Jose won game one, no? 14 oh. No. So we got 14 13 on this court, on court B. And that'll do it. Back into the box as Sebastian and Andre have another chance at match point. We're going to go back to our court. Eduardo. Portilla with that reverse pinch. Just There's the a half shot. out. I love it. We'll the go crowd. back to this court. And that'll be the match. Unfortunately, Jose and Jake are done. Sebastian and Andre move on. We'll go back to Daniel and Alvi. Montoya tracks that one down. Asking for a replay, kind of just slides forward into Daniel. No harsh feelings there, both guys apologize. None taken. Game one in the books over here. We'll take a short break. And we'll be right back on the IRT Network, presented by... Enet Live. chicken team. Your first order of business will be my chipotle chicken ciabatta sandwich. Your choice of a spicy crispy or grilled chicken breast with a chipotle sauce served on lightly toasted ciabatta bread. Thanks, Jack. Pick the right guy. I am your chicken man. Bobby Horns, or David Horns, some might know me as. Oh, oh my goodness. Get oh. The Reaching Dream Foundation has helped, helped me out a lot in the last, I mean, for as long as I can remember, really. Oh, too good. This sport has taken me to a place that I never thought I would be before. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2019 California Open here in cold Canoga, as my partner Dean Bear would call it. Dean's stepping away for just a second. He's got to keep up with some tournament scorecards, and that's what he does. He's a busy man. He works hard, and we appreciate all he does here on the IRT Network. Eduardo Bertillo ready to serve here for game two. Thank you, everyone watching. Hello, Wendell. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Christina. Sahem. Hair. Jonathan. Mont. Thank you all for watching. Please share this feed if you haven't already. 
Off the ceiling. Sure. Front wall. Yeah, yeah, I think it hit that front wall too, and Daniel wasn't expecting One it. That'll be our first point here in game two. One serving zero. Zero one, Alvi with the high lob. Eduardo cuts it off with the overhand. Daniel with the backhand slice up top. And Rodrigo skips that one into the ground, gives the Mexicans one serving one. their first point of game two. Crucial game two. Oh, great reactions. Goes down the middle. What a touch by Alvi. Seen him do it so many times. I mean, he just gets better and better. Like fine wine with age. Thank you, Sahim. Three one our score here. Alvi and Daniel in control. Alvi's gonna line that one up, shoots it to that right corner. Eduardo steps in to cut it off, but he puts it right in the ground. He knows he can do better. And now that I've seen him play, I know he can do better. Absolutely. Rodrigo falling backwards off balance, still able to swipe and put that one down in the left corner. Four serving one. Four one here. Second server, Daniel De La Rosa. So when you're the favorite, the opponent, your best opportunity to win the match is to obviously win game one. And they had the opportunity Oh. Rodrigo goes for so many balls. And he gets more than half of them, I would say. He does get them. Now, whether he puts them away or not is a whole nother story. We got the famous Stacy Rabinal coming into the booth to say hi. Finally get to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. What a long. get there by Ad or Alvi. Look at the hands by Portilla. This is a good one. Yeah, but till Daniel Rose, ruined all the fun. He didn't ruin the fun. <laughs> he got the applause. Yeah, he got the point. Zunda an applause, no applause. <laughs> Daniel said, "I'm done with this. I'm taking my ball and going to the service box." It was great hands by Bartia. Six serving one. Six serving one on the headpan scoreboard. So last month, last month I got on the air with the LPRT. That was very interesting. Yeah, I the was, LPRT, uh, they're a great organization. They have great broadcasts. Not a, I didn't commentate. It was more like an interview. It was very cool uh, with TJ. TJ. I went to Fantastic. Maryland. <laughs> oh, bad communication right there by Danny and Alvaro. Yeah, it has. But happens. I was in, in Laurel where we were. I was with my daughter. My daughter played in the tournament. It was a lot of fun. And it was the first time I played in what's called Centurion Doubles. And so that means you got to equal to 100. <laughs> Two six. And we won. So I was excited. <laughs> that is outstanding. <laughs> Good read right there by Portilla. Oh. And great hands by the Mexican monster. Oh my God, Alvaro Beltran. Serving two. Stays in the service box. What serve is Al Alvaro gonna do? That high lob. <laughs> Take a guess. And it generates a really weak return. It comes a plum by Beltran. Yep. Oh. Montoya is right there. And, and Daniel, Daniel messes that one up. Has to skip it in. That's gotta be some momentum for uh, Montoya there. 
He makes a great get, but leaves an easy opportunity still for Daniel, and Daniel skips it. See if they can get them out of the service box here. What a shot by Alvaro Beltran. Reverse pinch out of midair. You don't get to see that every day. This is not Wednesday night league, let me tell you. It's <laughs> professional racquetball. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was, shot was amazing. Speaking of amazing, let's shout out to a couple of our partners. Rollout Racquetball, wearrollout.com. Some of the best clothing in racquetball. Special this weekend only, 25% off your entire order. Use the promotion code IRTLA and you'll get 25% off. It's a great buy, guys. Get on wearrollout.com. Back to the action on center court. Yeah, Dean, as you uh, were thanking our sponsors there, Eduardo snuck one past the Mexican monster, and we got a couple oohs and ahs from the crowd. Seven serving three. Seven three. Karen Grizz in the chat box. Shout out, Karen. See you soon. Good leave by Daniel for that to go to Alvo. Oh. Nice pinch roll by Beltran. Josh Eight Epstein seven, checking three. in. Ooh, Karen Kevin taking Sabre. a shot at the age. Who? Kevin? Karen Grizz. Karen? Oh, she was the tournament director. She gave me some really terrible starting times. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Portilla got jammed up. Yeah. Loses that rally right there. Nine yeah, he looked three. unbalanced as well. Yeah, absolutely. Karen, when you get here tomorrow, I'll take a coffee, black, Starbucks. Dose. <laughs> Dose. Oh, floater against the wall. Portia can't get a racket on it. Tough break. Ten serving three. You see, he's down right there after that shot, and Rodrigo came over, just touched a hand on his back, and said, don't worry, let's go. You know, you got to pick your partner up. That's part of doubles. Okay, so one, someone in the chat box is asking about a promotion. That's wearrollout.com. Any gear you want to buy from Wear Rollout, 25% off using promotion code IRTLA. Ten serving three. Ten three on the head pin scoreboard. Eduardo and Daniel clearing things up. You know, Daniel looks almost younger than Eduardo. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. 11 serving three. 11 three now. Rodrigo lines that one up. What oh, great cut off. They got him in the front court. Trying to take advantage of the, oh, them being out of position, and Daniel puts that one away. Great racquetball action for pro doubles. Way, way to finish it by Daniel De La Rosa. See, that's the shot I want to see Rodrigo hitting. Side wall, front wall. Every, a few times he's hitting front Three, wall, side wall, which brings the ball right into Daniel's wheelhouse on a forehand. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't miss that often. Oh, they're going to try to drive serve Danny. That's interesting. Good shot there by Alvi, forcing a side out. Or half out, I'm sorry. Three serving 12. The high lob, it goes right down the middle. That's interesting. Alvi, always a showman, says, eh, that one's all right. 
back in the 90s, every match was a showmanship. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, <laughs> it was bad. So here's my question, Dean. Why would someone ever high lob down the middle? <laughs> Eduardo says, I can do it too. Now he's saying, Daniel said to Rodrigo, your turn. Yeah, you're the only one that hasn't done it yet. Oh. Hey, and that's what the people want to see. Well done all around. That is some incredible racquetball action right there. I raise you a flatty. Right. Oh, God. Talk about a show. Nice little nice. touch right there. Four serving 12. Four 12? That Listen, was incredible. When you're up 12-4, you can, you can talk like this. At 11-11, you're not saying boo. But there's a lot less pressure. Great shot right there by Lalo Portilla. Sean Haley says so awesome. Margot D. Scott. Margot Scott? Didn't she own the Reds? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Marge. Yeah. Sorry, Marg. Get rid of the O. 6 12 here. You know, that uh, that test of rollouts there might have woken up Montoya and Eduardo. Set up off the back wall by Beltran. There's the reverse pinch. It's my favorite shot. I love it. Six serving 12. Six serving 12 on the head-pet scoreboard. Daniel, the mean overhand. Alvi's so tall, he just cuts it off before it hits the wall. Behind the back ceiling wall. Smooth Eduardo. as ever, huh? Oh, what a get right there by Beltran. Just missed it. We might have a towel timeout. <laughs> Dean Margo says, I wish. <laughs> you don't own the red, Reds? Seven, Call me. <laughs> I'll broker the sale. <laughs> <laughs> Dean can sell anything. Yeah. Try. We try. We try. Portilla goes up top. De La Rosa returns the favor. Portilla going to shoot this. De La Rosa's right there. Punches it into the corner. There we go. Side out. 12 serving 7. 12 serves 7. Head pen scoreboard. Beltran. Kicks off the sidewall. Portilla's right there. Uh, Danny wants that one back. Big skip by De La Rosa. Good serve right there by De La Rosa. Excellent shot. I tell you, there's nothing like pro doubles. Yeah, I agree, Dean. I got my first taste of pro doubles last year at the 2018 no, 2017 uh, U.S. Open. And what a match that was. And then I got to see the rematch this year. What was the score of the first thing? 11? 15-13. 13. 7 serving 13. 7 serving 13. Slow crawl back to the top here by Portilla and Montoya. Short serve. Eduardo Portier gets ready for his second serve. We'll go with the high lob, maybe a nick. No, Alvaro out of midair skips it right in. Eight serving 13. Eight serves 13. Portier you know, down to drive. Daniel and Alvi, they, they still feel in full control and the scoreboard looks that way too. But it, like I said, ever since that rollout contest, Eduardo and Rodrigo have woken up and they need to. They're in game two and they've already lost game one. Got a new ball coming in. Some lucky fans are going to get a broken ball. They'll probably throw that in the trash. We can get them a new one. Head Pen is not only the scoreboard sponsor, but the sponsor of the IRT. They're not just the official ball of the IRT, WOR, USAR, and LPRT. Head Pen is the industry leader in all things racquetball. Check them out today at www. 
head.com slash racquetball. Back to the action center court. De La Rosa dives and gets that one. It's a heck of a dive there by Daniel. I noticed Eduardo keeps oh, slowing it down. Great down the line by Rodrigo Montoya. The crowd loved it. Told you, it's just like Wednesday night doubles challenge ladder. That's the kind of action we're getting. Yeah. Eduardo here to serve. Portilla getting ready for a second serve. Probably going to go with that high lob. Try for the nick again. Yeah, he also switches sides of yeah. the service box. Alvaro tries to catch it before it hits the ground. It's tough to do, but Beltran makes it look easy. Here comes the plum for De La Rosa. Wow, yeah. that caught the crack. Nothing you could do right there. Crack kills <laughs> all that of it the does. time. 10-13. Wow, good read by Montoya. Just can't get there quick enough. Side out is the call here at the California Open. We are once again in California. We're in cold Canoga Park because it's freezing. Good little off-speed serve right there. Alvaro wanted a short serve. Short serve is the call. High lob coming. Uh, mm. Not good. Daniel's running back, taking a shot down the line. It's very easy for Rodrigo to step up and re-kill that ball down the line. Daniel has no chance of getting it. Hashtag just, just a replay. A replay. You got to remember, these guys got to take a split second to decide if they're going to swing or not. Great get by Montoya. Beltran is there. Montoya's there. De La Rosa is there. And Nobody's right there. That's a point. Oh, my God. Another great rally. This is the start of our night. We got four good ones right after this. Yeah, this is supposed to be our uh, this is supposed to be our appetizer. Kevin Savory wants to know if you're going to be at the national doubles next month, Dean. No. There's your answer, Kev. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I go skiing that week. So. Yeah. No doubles for me. Unless Kevin wants to send me a ticket. Hey. Now that's that's what he said about when he, he wants to come to New York. Oh, send me a ticket. Rodrigo's right there for the easy re-kill. Nine serving 14. Oh, Nine my 14. nephew Stephen Bear is watching. How are you, Stephen? Thanks for tuning in. Will Olivia be joining us this weekend, Dean? She, she just texted me, said she was listening before. I didn't see her in the chat box. Alvaro got this set up across. Lalo's right there. Wow. Beltran dives and gets that one. Whoa, from his knees he makes the return. This is a good one, folks. Look at the soft hands. Not smart. Tried to get Lalo cute. Party. Tried to get cute. And not, what a match not this is. Not smart. Alvaro baited him into that rally right there. And it was like... Shooting fish in a barrel. Alvaro's yeah. like, yeah, do it again. Do yep. it again. Do it again. Ronald Briggs, yes, the club is letting fans in. You can watch the action for free. You better get here soon, though, because it is filling up. Oh, oh there's the match, ladies and gentlemen. 15-13. 15-9. And a heck of a match it was. Dean... Do you by chance know who's coming up next? Who is coming up? It is the number one seed, 
Alejandro Landa versus the one and only Eduardo Portilla. And we will have all that action and more coming up in just a little bit here live on the IRT Network presented by Enet Live. 